Welcome back to Astro in Focus. Today we're going to continue setting up Sequence Generator Pro by incorporating plate solving. Plate solving is a really great tool that allows you to go back to the same target over and over again throughout the year or even years later and it allows it to center it exactly where it was last time. That way you can keep incorporating data and continuing to improve your astrophotography skills. Let's get started with that. So as you can see in the bottom right corner of the screen from the all sky camera, it's pretty cloudy here today. So what better time than to continue setting up Sequence Generator Pro. To get plate solving working, I've been using PlateSolve 2 for quite a few years now. It's offered by Planeway for free. I'll have the links in the description below. You're gonna need three pieces of software to get this up and running. First here is the PlateSolve program itself. The other two pieces are the star catalogs. You're gonna need the UCAC3 star catalog and the APM star catalog installer. Once you have those downloaded, Go ahead and start by unzipping the Plate Solve 2 program. Just copy this over to your hard drive somewhere, wherever you want. It could be with your astrophotography files or other config files or on your desktop. And after that, we'll go to set up APM catalog. You can double click that executable. My computer's a little slow. Click yes to allow. And this is the part that you'll have to pay attention to. This is going to default to program files. I have mine installed where I have all my configuration and astrophotography files. So make sure you remember where this is going to install to, because that'll be important later. So you can click through next and continue to install this. I'm going to cancel out because I already have this installed on this machine. Once that one's installed, you'll want to unzip the UCAC3. This is going to be a folder that contains a secondary set of catalogs. You'll want to also copy this over somewhere on your hard drive, preferably wherever you place the plate solve or your other cat, your APM catalog. So you can get that unzipped and copied over. And after that's finished, we can get it all set up. So here we have Sequence Generator Pro opened up. We want to go up to Tools and Equipment Profile Manager, and we want to click on the profile that you want to add plate solving to. Go over to the Plate Solve tab, and we want to choose Plate Solve 2 for our interface. For binning, typically it'll be one by one, but if you typically use another bin, then select that. For your exposure, I find with my setup that five seconds allows enough stars to be imaged to properly plate solve. You may need to adjust that for your setup. Attempts to center, I typically set it at five, even though normally after three attempts, it's already centered within the error limit. The error limit is set below. I leave it at 50 pixels, and since I do not have a rotator, I just leave this at three degrees. If you'd like to adjust these to a more or less accurate, you can. If you're using a filter wheel, you have the option to select which filter to use when plate solving. For blind solve failover, this requires an internet connection. If the local plate solver cannot find the target, it will use a blind solve failover through astronomy.net. So if you're going to have internet access at your imaging site, it doesn't hurt to have this, but I have only found PlateSolve 2 to only need it once, and that was whenever my scope completely slewed to the wrong spot. After you have these, go ahead and click Save just so you don't lose anything. Now, we just have to go into Settings, which is going to open up PlateSolve 2. Go to File, Configure Catalog Directories. Now this is where you need to put in the directory that you installed the executable for the APM 
as well as unzip the UCAC3 folder too. So you can just go to click select a directory and find wherever you put that folder and where you install that executable to. So for me, it's under D Starry Ridge. And if you don't have it in that location, it's going to tell you status and directory not found. So we're going to go down and we're going to make sure that we have the right directory. So it's actually under Starry Ridge APM. And now you see it'll say status OK. You'll want to do the same for the zip folder that you unzipped and copied over to your hard drive. So after that, you can just close out of it. And once again, click Save. So now if you followed through and you set up your camera and telescope and mount in the previous video, and if you got the plate solving set up, now you can use the Mosaic Wizard. Let's go up to Tools, Framing a Mosaic Wizard. Now this does require internet connectivity. So if you know that you'll be imaging at a location that does not have internet connectivity, you'll want to set up these, this profile or sequence beforehand. So let's say you want to image M42. We're just going to go to Object, hit M42, click Enter. Now what it's going to do is it's going to go fetch an image of M42 off of a star catalog, and it's going to load it in. Now it might not be pretty. It might just be black and white, grainy, but you'll get the general idea. From here, you're just going to make click and drag a rectangle. And if you have everything set up properly from our first video, this is going to be your image sensor size. So you can drag this around and center up your target. Now say your target is bigger than this and you want to try to doing a mosaic, you can set the camera tiles. So there's a two by one or two by two. So what it'll do is it'll create a sequence where we'll go through and image each section of this and you can combine it together later in post-processing. So for now, we're just gonna start out with a one by one and we're gonna click Create Sequence. This will allow you to name it and either add two targets in a previous sequence or replace it. You'll want to leave this at slew 2 and then center. If you do not have a rotator, make sure that you uncheck this. Go ahead and click OK and it's going to give you a warning that there's no way to validate rotation. Click OK and it created one new target sequence. Now it's going to bring up your sequence and we'll get into this in another video. Well, that wraps up another episode of Setting Up Sequence Generator Pro. Plate solving is not that difficult to set up. And once you set it up, you'll use it every time. I guarantee it. It'll also allow you to use the Framing and Mosaic Wizard, which is a great tool when you're trying to do a certain frame of an object or starting to do a mosaic of a larger object. Thanks for watching. Please click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more content and live stream star parties. Clear skies.